Are you ready for what I've been playing, watching, reading? Let's go! Hey YouTube, welcome to the channel, or welcome back to the channel, Bambinos. Welcome to an episode of what I've been playing, what I've been watching, and what I've been reading. Let's go! <laughs> with the finger. I do that with my dog. He follows my finger. He's a good boy. Yeah, hi guys. Feels like uh, it's been a hot minute since I've done a video. It probably hasn't. It's been a week or so, I want to say. Um, I was live last night, mind. I'll talk about that as we go through. Uh, it's the first time I've been in front of the camera, I think, for a week. That's uh, unusual for me, that. I'm not crying in the of my eye. <laughs> yeah, I've been uh, stuck in work. My Obviously, I've started a new job. I've been there over a month now, but... Um, yeah, we're getting rid of some people some naughty people let's say when the supervisor has been sacked as well so there's been uh, some shenanigans going on so while we're doing a bit of a rebuild there's been a lot of overtime going um and next week is even more going so i feel like i'm living there at the moment but uh yeah i'm getting paid extra to be there which as it should be so um yeah i haven't done as much um gaming it's taken a toll on my outside work life, unfortunately, but it's all going to be worth it because I've got to get that Street Fighter Six, the Mad Gear box. So I've got my notes as per usual. Um, oh, update on Killer Instinct. We'll start off with that then. Um, so the backstory, the saga continues basically. So I ordered, I've got an Xbox One. The reason I wanted, it's my third, fourth Xbox One I've owned. Uh, I'm not selling it this time. The Bought it basically for one game, really, for Killer Instinct, the definitive edition. I waited 10 long years to play that game. So got the console, got a brand new controller, great. Got, so I, ordered killer instinct the definitive edition uh, of cex and arrived great uh, it was the right case opened it up and it was the basic version but with the definitive edition there's all the artwork there's a lot of stuff on there the i wasn't aware it had uh killer instinct arcade one and killer instinct arcade two on there as well so they put the wrong disc in there. So I went to CEX, got a refund. When I came home to install my and put all the Xbox up, I thought I'm going to have to order it from somewhere else. I'd lost faith in CEX. But the thing with CEX, they were by far the cheapest uh, seller of the Killer Instinct, the definitive edition. Some people are asking for up to £30 for it. It's worth that. But because I can get it in CX eight pound plus two ninety five post uh, one ninety five postage, it's just under a tenner. They're still the cheapest uh, place to go. But I'd lost faith in them. Um, then when I set it up, this is a quick recap, guys. When I set it up, turns out somehow Killer Instinct, the definitive edition, was already on my account. I have no idea how it's on there. So happy days. So that's you brought up the speed. Uh, I had a email. Anyone that's ordered online from CX will probably have had this email from Trustpilot, and they ask you to review the game uh, or the service you've had from CX. So I give it a one star. It's the lowest you can give. You can't give them zero. And I put down like a one sentence. Uh, the wrong game was in the case. Thanks CX, kind of thing. And I had an email off them, off CEX, their customer service, and they could track, they could tell that I'd had a refund, uh, so I was legit, and they're going to send me, this taking this time, mind, they, I think they messaged me Monday or Tuesday, they're going to send me a copy of Killer Instinct, the definitive edition, I know I've got a digital copy, but they're going to send me a physical copy, and I was like, oh, thank you, great, um, so I will have a physical as well i don't know if i'll keep it. i probably will keep it or trade it in for cx see how much i get for it but um 
Yeah, and it's the right thing to do, I think. And it's not an expensive game on their part. But the reason I had to go use my time, my precious time, to go and get a refund, you know. So it's nice that they're doing something about it. That wasn't my intention. But sometimes you've got to complain. Uh, but they got they contacted me asking me for the service. So I told them it was shit in a professional way. And it's nice that they're going to do something about it. So, happy days. Yeah, that's the update on Killer Instinct. I haven't had it yet. I'd laugh if they send the wrong, do the same thing again. But, whatever. You know, whatever. Uh, okay, so, um, what have I been playing? Uh, this week has basically, one game's been the star of the show up until last night. I'm absolutely loving the Halo, the Master Chief collection. Bef the week two weeks ago i was absolutely smashing the last of us two uh i was skipping i was almost speed running it okay because i finished it before i know the story uh, i'm skipping 99 percent of the cutscenes. i really enjoying it it's a very good game it's a very very good game much better gameplay than the first one i think i said this last week but the story's better on the first one okay still a good story mind the second one but then this game's taken over. So I finished the uh, Halo 1. I then went to play Halo 3. I finished that campaign already. Then I'm about just over halfway through Halo Reach. But this, um, so I'm kind of, that's probably my fav my top three is Halo, Halo 3, then uh, Halo Reach. I'm probably gonna do Halo 2 next. That would be the order that I enjoy them, you know? But it's really well done um, collection. And that's probably going to keep me entertained. I'm not going to be gaming next weekend because I'm on holiday with the family. I don't even know. We're going somewhere. As long as the dogs can go, I, I go as well. So my handhelds will get a, a nice uh, outing, let's say. Um, but this probably, I'm just going to smash it. But when my hours in work go back to normal, uh, back to my usual routine, I'll, I, it won't take me that long to finish everything. But there's a couple of other... I just see, like, I'm a bit of a completionist. So I don't want to move on from this until I've completed everything, every stage, all the challenges and everything like that. That cost me £8. And it's it's more than paid for itself already. It, I've had a ton of fun with that. More fun with it this time round than the last time when I had it. Uh, I bought that game when it first came out, uh, release day. But uh, yes, I'm. That's keep me entertained. It also shows, like, I you've got to make time. It's my hobby. It's my passion. But my main thing is taking my dog for a walk. So I'm going to work. That's been the priority over the last week and next week. And so I take the dog for a walk. That's my second priority, or I can argue my first priority. But. I'm really like cherishing my game time. Like one day I only had 45 minutes uh, before I had to leave for work. And I still played. I did like one uh, one mission. And it was it was just it's just my happy place, but it just reinforces how when you've got a full time job, how precious your time is, your gaming time. So that's reinforced. Does that make sense? Uh, how precious your time is, you know. I really am uh, enjoying uh, my gaming at the moment. Um, that's all I've played physical, but then rewind to it seems like ages ago. I think last Friday night I really had a good go of Killer Instinct, the definitive edition. Um, I haven't played through the full roster, uh, but so far my standout main would have to be Orchard. She is amazing. I finally pulled off my first ultra combo. It's really satisfying when the commentator goes, Ultra combo! Really am uh, impressed with that game. It's bonkers. I think it's a 10-year-old game now. What a polished game. That that would probably be in my top three games of all time if I'd... It's too early, still early days with it, okay? too early to say it's in my top three it's definitely my top 10 it's it's my favorite and it's the best killer instinct game i played all the well, there's only three of them i played all the killer instinct games grew up with them 
uh, it's overtaken Killer Instinct Gold, and that's a, that's a big claim that is. That's how good that game is. Um, Spinal is amazing fun as well. He was my one of my mains before on Killer Instinct Gold. Fulgo, not so much. He was my main alongside Spinal in Killer Instinct Gold. Um, I just can't get on with him. Rash is really good fun. Um, really fast, very cinematic, I want to say. There's a lot of effects going on in the screen. I'm still figuring it out. Uh, I am playing it with the control pad as well. So I don't know any different with Killer Instinct. I've never played a Killer Instinct game, even the arcade games, with a stick. So um, I kind of like to have a stick, but it's not... I haven't got to have one, you know. It's kind of like Tekken. Tekken I play with the control pad rather than a stick, you know. Uh, but yeah, really am enjoying that game. But last night... Um, so I agreed to do overtime this weekend uh so i'm working today what time is it oh, nearly 12 o'clock i am going long before i gotta go get ready and um they announced i was there for the live um i'll, I'll say what i've been watching then on youtube i watched the street Fighter Six live event or tried to watch it i finished work in the week 10 o'clock in the night and i was there seeing to my dog and i was just relaxing and took my medication. I know, oh, right, the Street Fighter 6 showcase, I'll watch that. And started in like 15 minutes. But there was load, there was over a thousand people on the chat. And people are like, oh, yeah, Street Fighter 6, can't wait, kind of thing. But I don't know what time it was in other parts of the world. So it was perhaps 10. So it's getting late here in the UK. So they weren't kids, but they could have been kids from America, for example, and people are like, oh, I hope, I hope they're going to announce Kuma, Akuma. And then there's some people are like, oh, Tekken's better. And people, no, no, it's not. <laughs> it was like really the hardcore street. I'm hardcore street fighter, but it's like, whatever. Then I was like commenting, like my dog's licking my toes. And people are like, lot, <laughs> like, like just random stuff, having a laugh. Then, then the event started, but then it was like, a 30 minute pre-show kind of thing and there was uh, a male and a female i think the youtubers um i recognize the male the female i recognize her voice so maybe she's a commentator at evo or something i'm not sure but it was like a pre-recorded thing and they were asking questions like who's your favorite and i was type i couldn't type fast enough you know who you're most excited to see i was in there right and then loads, I started, sat back and I started reading the other comments. They were like, why have they got a woman on you? This isn't for women. It's like, are you being serious? Oh my God, it's, oh no, it's a woman. It's like, oh my God, get back to the 1970s, do you know what I mean? Uh, I thought they both did a really good job. I was really excited. But then by the time it started, my eyes were burning. I had to get up early the next day. So I thought, right, it's Street Fighter 6. I can watch. I don't have to watch it live, so I watched it the like twenty four hours later when I got home the next day. But I did really enjoy. I really enjoyed that. Okay, so the Street Fight. Then they obviously they announced the Street Fighter demo is available now, kind of thing. Um, so I downloaded it, but I was gutted because I'd agreed to work Saturday and Sunday. But on the Saturday and Sunday, I finish at nine o'clock in the night, not ten o'clock. So I tried to go live, nine o'clock, right? I was out the door, my motorbike boots are on, my jacket, my helmet, it was 10 o'clock, love you, bye, as I was leaving, you know, I was not hanging around, okay? And I was riding my motorbike as fast as I could on the way home. Um, I was home, I think, four minutes. <laughs> I, I bombed home, right? Um, then sort, sort everything out, had my protein shake, got ready for bed. I forgot to take my bloody sleeping tablets so. though. I was live, I think, just before half past nine. So that's pretty good going, that is. So like less than half hour ago, I was still in work. Um, and yeah, quite a few people turned up. So thanks, guys. I really enjoyed it. And my first thoughts, uh, it must have been good because I thought, at first I thought I'd, oh, I'd stream for about half hour, just get my raw first thoughts and impressions uh, live and capture it and it's on my channel forever kind of thing 
and I checked the time and it was an hour. I think I streamed for an hour and 10 minutes. That was the fastest hour of my life. I couldn't believe how fast it was. So if you haven't played it, there's only two characters uh, available. There's Ryu and Luke. Uh, I'm really happy Ryu was on there. I'm not that big a fan of Luke. I don't dislike him. I, I have made my mind up, let's say, with Luke. He's pretty, he's all right in Street Fighter V. Uh, he was originally pretty overpowered, almost broken, you can say. Uh, but I'm much more familiar in my comfort zone with Ryu. There's three... I played with a fight stick. I got my Victrix Pro out, so I played with that. There's three different um, control uh, configurations, I think I want to call it. So there's like an AI-assisted one. I could not get on with that. Uh, that might be for people that never played Street Fighter before. I think it helps you. It's like easier. If you've never played a fighting game, I think the thing with Street Fighter 6, they're going to try to appeal for not just the hardcore, the, but the, the, the whole um, gaming community. They're going to try and attract a lot of people over. So if you haven't grown up playing these fighting games, it's quite... It's quite a steep learning curve if you've never played any of them. So I think that is, I can't remember what it's called, but they're like AI assisted, I think I read on the thing. So I tried that. I tried all three. That was not for me. They've got classic, which is for me. Um, and then they've got modern. Now modern was very, it was really surprising how different it is. Um, but like I, cause I started with the classic controls I was trying to kick and he was punching and I was like, oh, it's too confusing. But it's nice that they've catered for that. Also, I've noticed you can, like in most fighting games, you can program your own controls. But um, a classic was perfect for me. I knew I was in my comfort zone straight away. Uh, there was only two stages you could play as. Uh, there was... Uh, old town market and there's a lot it looks the graphics as well guys are mwah, amazing okay um there's a lot going on in the background but anyone that's watched me live or playing fighting games i get very 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 distracted by what's going on in the background um yeah sorry there's two modes as well so on one of the modes you, you play as this old town market and it's knockdown is is the i think what it's called and it's basically you've got to knock the opponent off their feet and you've got like five lives and the first person to take five lives off the other person wins basically but then there's a it's, it's the default setting is a bull rush so i i'd seen it but i i thought that can't be i thought it was like something to do with the background like basically you hear like a bull going and like one and a half seconds, two seconds later, this massive bull rushes across the screen kind of thing. So you've not only got to look what your opponent's doing, you've got to jump over. It took me ages. He was kicking my ass, this bull was. I was like, bullshit. <laughs> um, check out the street. It's up on my channel, right? Um, yeah, so not only after... I was playing Ryu. Look what Luke was doing. Listen for the bull. Jump over the bull. You can uh, hit the bull as well, which I found out after about five or six goes. Um, but with me as well, I'm also looking what's going on in the background. So I thoroughly enjoyed that. But it was what was the best was the just arcade mode um, or one v one kind of thing. There was two stages you could choose for that. So there was the basic training stage, which is just. Nothing really in the background, which is perfect for me. That was where I noticed, uh, someone said like the shadows. I didn't even notice the shadows. And when he said that, uh, Access Area 6, shout out Access Area 6. Um, he was like, there's so much detail in there. Um, but like Ryu, uh, the sweat on him and in between rounds, he'd have like a black eye or you could see blood on his face and stuff, you know? Um, there's so much attention to detail gone into this game and the other stage was it's almost like it's stripped straight out of samurai showdown you know they got the japanese garden in the background beautiful um i'm not sure what tree it is oh stunning you no know, like the 
almost white pink leaves oh it's beautiful and you can see the leaves drop in um looks peaceful but i'm like oh my god there's a tortoise in the background and I, while i'm trying to learn this new fighting game then there's a fish that jumps up so there's still a lot going on in the background and i'm like where's that bird flying to he's going from the branch and he's oh look he's down by the turtle i get so distracted by the backgrounds but then i really appreciate it's like someone's put a lot of work that's someone's job is to create this background you know uh so i really appreciated that the other thing as well thinking about it killer instinct has it as well but not done quite to the level of street fighter 6 is the commentators you can turn it off um i think i didn't turn it off once because at the first i was like yeah i like the sound of having a commentator uh commentate if it works and it was spot on like i was doing one round mainly defending uh, i can't remember what he said but he wasn't like repeating it wasn't spamming the same it wasn't like five or six sentences this commentator's got. Um, like, as I was doing a fireball, the commentator was, oh, he's doing another fireball. I was spamming the fireball, but then he was like, oh, he's making great use. It was the way he was wording it. I felt like I was in EVO tournament. I was really impressed with it. Um, so I'll definitely be keeping that on. Um, I'm not sure how many commentators they've got lined up. Um... I know there was a stink where they didn't. There was they asked one person, like, "Oh, why is she being picked?" And so I'm, I'm. So it's not only the characters we've got, and so you've got all the characters to learn, the commentators as well, and the stages. Um, it's going to be a great game, guys. Uh, anything else stood out? Luke was okay. You could. I didn't like Ryu's um, new, like draping thing he's got down there he looked better there's only you couldn't change costume but you could change the colors you had two colors per character to choose from uh what oh yeah what i did like as well is one of the special moves depending on who you're playing as i was aware of this but it looks really cool when you pull it off um whatever it the effects are representative representative of the character so if i'm wearing like the dark like the navy uh costume i call them pajamas they're not pajamas um then the effects will be will be representative of the color the costume you're using it's almost it's like give me like splatoon vibe effects maybe i'm not explaining i'm rubbish at explaining stuff guys but i there was so much i really liked okay about it the there was the controls were uh, yes i'm playing on my victrix pro okay that's a top of the range fight stick um uh, maybe i should i will play it again the demos should be up now right up to june or maybe it'll stay on there um you couldn't go uh, online as well so it was basically single player mode only which is fine by me uh what was i gonna say yeah the controls are so tight there was no delay they could release based on what i played they could release that game right now there's no i've played um open bait as before like king of fighters was okay uh but you could tell it was a little bit rough around the edges this was spot on so it's shaping up to be a fantastic game and a bit of me thought i think i said it at the start imagine i hate it i've just spent well i pre-ordered a 250 pound mad gear collector's edition box which is the top tier one that's available Imagine I hated it. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, I can never refund on this. I don't know if game gave refunds on pre-orders. Probably not. But um, I'm so... It met my expectation and it's it's blown them out of the water. It didn't exceed. It's blown my expectations out of the water. I'm so excited um, for it. And it's nice surprise because they went live. A lot of people are thinking, oh, they're going to show Akuma uh, is coming back. But then... No, they said, oh, the demo is available now, kind of thing. So that was a really nice surprise, that was. And I really enjoyed it. And I'm so glad I was, because I was the thing I love Street Fighter so much, right? It's my thing. It's like my precious kind of thing, you know? So I bit of me was like, shall I just enjoy an hour just myself and then go live? But no, I just put the camera on, press live and all that shit and just got my initial first thoughts um yeah i'm really glad i did i did that okay um yes yeah, so that's what I, i've been playing next week 
my handheld i probably are not going to be able to do one of these videos because i'll be away i think we go in on holiday friday so saturday sunday i think we're coming back at some time monday i might do a video monday but i'll be showcasing my catching up basically on my handhelds so i'll probably do a video on that maybe what i've been playing watching reading um it'll be like a handheld uh, version but i've still got a couple of days this week to play i'm probably gonna get through that it's probably gonna be halo killer instinct and street fighter 6 probably that's how my week's probably gonna look until I go on holiday, okay? Uh, what have I been watching on Netflix? I finished watching, I think last week I'd started it, watching Nobody. Uh, it's okay. I'd give it out of 10, a six and a half, seven out of 10. There's no surprise in it. Um, I had a feeling that, is it Christopher Lloyd, the guy of Back to the Future? He plays the father. I thought there was three goodies but one of them's got to die, uh, but I'm not going to say, but he's safe, let's say. Um, yes, watch it. I wouldn't, if I bought it, it would have been like like the Batman. I would have watched it, enjoyed it, traded it in. So I'm glad I, I was, I basically I played the waiting game, and I'm glad I played the waiting game on that, where I didn't go out and buy it on Blu-ray, because uh, it would have cost me money. Where now, it's, it's just on Netflix, it cost me no, nothing extra. Enjoyed it. Probably never ever gonna watch it again. Okay, but what's the chances? Now this is my Street Fighter Four uh, poster. Luck striking again. It's my lucky poster, right? But it's like to an extent. It's not like wow, I'm gonna win the lottery every day kind of thing. Unfortunately, but loads of things. It's like loads of coincidences, like Killer Instinct, the definitive edition. So the Street Fighter Four poster strikes again where I was looking for The Raid when, about two or three weeks ago. And it was a film I'd never watched. And they had it in CX in Carmarthen. It was in a very strange place where they had it. Um, found it and it wasn't in the best condition. But then it just got me looking there. And I thought, oh, you can buy The Raid 1 and 2 in Amazon for £6 odd on Blu-ray. Great. And I thought, no, I'll catch up on my backlog now. Like, I haven't watched hardly any um Samurai X because I've just been too tired. Uh, my evenings, I'm just knackered all the time, you know. Um, so going back to The Raid, it's on Netflix. And The Raid 2 has just been announced on Netflix. So I would have been a little bit gutted if I paid six quid. Yes, I got them on Blu-ray forever and ever. Um, but yeah, they're on Netflix anyway. So I saved six pound. And so I finished The Raid 1. It normally, it took me two sit-ins to watch it. Uh, again, it's my mental health. I can't concentrate on something for too long, unless it's Street Fighter 6, clearly. Um, so, what a great film. It's, yeah, I'd say it's a 9 out of 10 movie. I'll enjoy watching it again. It's, it's not trying to be a very clever, there is a bit of a twist in it, I suppose. But there's, it's nothing new, but it's, where it shines is the the martial arts aspect of it. It's an interesting story. It hasn't really been done before. But it kind of, it knows what it is. It's an action martial arts film with guns and machetes and stuff like that. It stays in its lane, you know. It's just, this is what it is. If you like this, this is for you. So I'm really looking forward to watching the second one now. I'll try to watch that. I'll probably watch a bit of it tonight, a bit tomorrow night. Maybe I'll finish it tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be living I live working in a gym so I'm going to be living in the gym for the next week anyway um, yeah so I really enjoyed the raid um, YouTube watching quite a bit of YouTube um, probably less than I normally watch but I uh, found another new channel guys uh, this week's uh, video of the week uh, channel name is The Sega Guys I'll, if I remember, I'll tag the channel in the um, description, is it, underneath, so you can just click on that. And the video was, uh, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, the worst Master System game, question mark. And that's a game I grew up with. That was my first ever um, Indiana Jones, oh sorry, it's my first ever physical game for the Master System. And it's, it is obviously CIB, 
Uh, I've even got the one of them. I'm still going to get that framed. I want that up framed in my games room somewhere. I'll make space for that, you know? Even if i got to take something down to build that up. I, I need that up. It's just, it's just floods of nostalgia, okay? But I remember arguing. Again, I've said this on the channel before. It's got the white label on there. Uh, someone told me it's the... Is it US Gold? Yeah, US Gold. A lot of their cartridges, all their cartridges were white. But I remember the f I lent this to my mate in primary school and he had the burgundy with the square grid on it. I was like, oh, wow, what's happened to your cartridge? And he opened this and he was like, wow, what's happened to your cartridge? I was like, no, all games are like this because I didn't know any different. And he was like, no, all games are this. So I had almost like a bit of an argument. And I remember it clearly. I was adamant I was right. Um, and he was adamant he was right. So it turns out he was right. Um, but basically, yeah, he plays this game and I think he got as far as I could get back in the day. He didn't have very good memories of it at all. And you could tell as, as the guy was playing it, he wanted to stop playing. I think he got one continue left and he was like, I can't. And he was just, just watching it. And it's, that game was aimed at kids. Most games back then were, unless it was P, there was some PC games, gaming was, the industry wasn't what it was now. A lot of people are like, kids play video games, you know. Uh, I get why my parents bought it, because we loved Indiana Jones back in the day. Um, I just hope a member of staff, wherever they bought it from, um, didn't recommend it. Fuck that guy, whoever that was, if that happened. But um, it looks all right, graphics. It's average for the Master System, let's say. But the controls, and it was so harsh. And, um, yeah, I never got past level three on it. Um, the tra it's too, it's too hard for a kid's game, you know? I, I will, I'll probably play it on the channel, see if I can get to level three. Um, there's even, like, a really challenging time limit on there. But, uh, yeah, this guy, it was like, I can so relate to how what this guy was feeling, you know? I think if he wasn't filming himself playing it, he probably would, he would have stop playing before you got to the first um, first game over, you know. Um, yeah, so that was my YouTube channel of the week and video of the week. I really enjoyed that. Uh, so I'm going to go and check out his other videos. Go check it out. Consider subscribing to his channel also. And what have I been reading? Surprise, surprise. I'm still reading Alien. I'm not that far into it. I think I've read three nights last week so i'm not i'm like on 77 just about to start the chapter family but when i go on holidays i do tend to read i can relax a lot more you know um because i only read before bed but when i'm on holiday I, like in the afternoon there's nothing to do if the dogs are okay i might sit down i'll either be uh handheld gaming or having a read so i might just get halfway through the book or not do you know what i mean but uh, yeah it's a good book there's nothing wrong with the book uh, I like the pace. It's not rushing through a story. It's a new story. It's set between Alien and Aliens, but it's very different to... Um, it's not canon, I don't think. Uh, unless Ripley's lost her memory. I don't know. It could be canon. I just don't know. Um, yeah, so that's what I have been reading. Uh, yeah, that's everything. Let me have a quick check. But the highlight of the week was obviously, well... Killer Instinct, I've had a good week gaming. Killer Instinct, wow, amazing. Uh, Halo Master Chief Collection. It's so much nostalgia there, you know. It's such a good game, a uh, good collection as well. I'm loving this new console, the Xbox. Um, and obviously the highlight then is Street Fighter 6 demo, baby. Amazing. I hope maybe they add another two characters. Um thing is now because i know what because i've played this demo i'm i've learned so much so when it does launch on june 2nd i know i don't need to worry about the dynamic controls or the modern controls i just go to classic controls it saved me a lot of time and i'll probably play at least one night a week on the build up to uh june 2nd it's not that long away is it it's just a month and a half is it where are we april yeah, month and a half away. Oh my god, can you? Oh wow, like, you know what I mean? It's an exciting time to be alive. Um, 
yeah, thank you very much for watching. Anyone else play the Street Fighter 6 demo yet? Let me know in the comments below. I don't know what that was. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Thanks for watching. Love you. Bye. Oh, itchy nose. Itchy nose. <laughs> what if it be a little bit? 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 A little bit?